There was trouble in Oakland, California last night just across the bay from San Francisco. It began with a demonstration and it turned violent. All of this started with anger over the shooting of a young unarmed man by a transit officer back on New Year's Day. The whole thing was caught on tape. It's led to a lot of questions about how it could have happened. Fair warning here, the pictures you're about to see are graphic. The crowd angered over the fatal shooting of 22-year-old Oscar Grant, a butcher's apprentice. The police is getting away with murder. And out in the streets, they talk about they serve and protect us. They don't serve and protect us. They kill us. On New Year's Day, at least four different people with cell phone cameras shot video of Grant and two other men surrounded by transit police after an alleged fight on a subway train. During this scuffle, one officer, later identified as Johannes Messerly, pulls his gun and shoots Grant. Both the officers and the witnesses react in horror. Grant died several hours later in a hospital, leaving behind his girlfriend and a four-year-old daughter. Your father is not going to be there to see her mother kindergarten. He is not going to be there for her prom, for her wedding. She was robbed of that. At this point, as the female officer approaches me, the door is shut, and she's banging on the plastic uh, of the door, telling me to give her my camera, and I tell her no. The senseless murders of our young people by the hands of the police have been going on for far too long now. And I am willing to do whatever I can to make sure these incidents happen never again. Yeah. Sheriff's deputies in Nevada arrested Meserly last night in Zephyr Cove near Lake Tahoe. They say Meserly had been living there since the shooting because he feared for his safety. He, his eyes are like, he's in, he's in shock for what he just did. And you see another officer nudge him on the shoulder, like tell him like, why, like, why did you do that or, or what happened? And the officer that shot the boy, he was like looking at him like, I don't know. Given what was transpiring, there really wasn't any need to have a firearm out. A former Bay Area Rapid Transit police officer charged with murder in the shooting of an unarmed black man on New Year's Day has pleaded not guilty. The hearing lasted only 10 minutes Thursday. 27-year-old Johannes Messerly was kept behind a glass partition the entire time, not saying a word. He's out. After spending three weeks in jail, the former BART police officer accused of murder is no longer a prisoner. Johannes Messerly was being held at the Santa Rita Jail in Dublin. Today, he posted $3 million bail and was released. It's my sense of it that people have lost confidence in the process of the investigation. It's been seven days and no charges have been filed. It's been seven days. What's wrong with that, Mayor? You used to be a congressman. You're a lawmaker. You've been a lawmaker before. What's wrong with the law right now? It's not working for the people, man. That my sense of it is is that one of the major problems that's going on here is lack of information. Why have we not had those kinds of meetings taking place a week ago? Why are you just now having those meetings? See, this community has been disrespected for too long. And at a certain point, enough is enough. And I think we've reached that point today. That's why we are. One of the big contention points has been that of the attorney, uh, of the district attorney, Tom Orloff. Um, we just know him as somebody who hasn't brought charges against the police. We don't understand why he didn't do it. And you were shedding some information that we need to know that well, his uh, roots go all the way back to the Panthers. Oh yes, he was one of the. Uh, he was working with the prosecutors uh, then in uh, Oakland, uh, Al Oakland, California. As Tom one of those, yes. prosecutes the Black Panthers. Yes, prosecutes the Black Panthers. Oh yeah, he, on, on you and Newt's case uh, and other Panther cases that came up. drenched in blood of police killings from Bobby Hutton all the way up to Gary King to now. And then you can't even just speak to the people as a human being? I even asked the 
the district attorney. I said, forget you being a district attorney. What did you think when you saw the video? Because I know how I felt. I still can't sleep over it. The fear is that even a peaceful demonstration could turn into something more destructive, like the riots that occurred after Oscar Grant was shot last year. Oakland uh, police have been uh, training for crowd control and riot control. Uh, when jury begins deliberations, and again, that could be this week, officers are going to be on standby, and they've been told no vacations during that time. While some might call all these police preparations good planning, others worry they send the wrong message to the community about what sort of reactions expected after the verdict. The message that could be sent is, you know, we are ready for you guys, and, you know, we are going to bring out our guns, and, you know... And, and people can feel a little intimidated and a little threatened. Some people are out here trying to actually talk to the police about their frustration and grief and trying to get at the humanity uh, behind the tear gas mask in the right ear. I have not addressed anybody disrespectful tonight. I have not yelled any obscenities. I've been nothing but respectful to the utmost degree. All I wanted to know, as a concerned citizen of the beautiful city, City of Oakland, can you provide me with a valid reason for what took place the other night? There was uh, another young man uh, dressed in like a punk rocker type outfit who uh, laid down on the ground, uh, assuming a symbolic position of, of Oscar Grant. I have maybe three or four people that were talking on the ground uh, with their hands behind their back, imitating what took place before Oscar Grant was killed the other night on New Year's. And then I saw uh, this, this uh, officer over here uh, get ready his tear gun, uh, a tear gas weapon, and uh, the police take out their batons, and I, I think they're waiting for a signal to fire the, the tear gas right here. We can see the, the tear gas scraper, the, the battering ram. I told them they should have some 22s for it. You know, the, the rims are kind of, I don't know about the rims, fellas. The rest of it is clean, but put some 22s on it, you're good. Juan Salazar, please don't shoot. Dennis Harris, please don't shoot. Dennis Harris, please don't shoot. Dennis Harris, please don't shoot. Kevin Wicks, please don't shoot. Joel Perez, please don't shoot. Today I am Oscar Grant. Today I am a place that wanted to tell you something that you should have heard a long time ago. And it made me fear our lives. And then they wonder why the youth is so corrupt. They say that they're bad kids. I don't believe in bad kids. I believe that every child has had an adult that has led to the delinquency and contributed to the mischievousness of that child. In this city that we live in, we are being portrayed by Hitlers. We are being portrayed by assassins. We are being portrayed by murderers. For us not to react the way that we react would be ignorant. We stand strong in the memory of Oscar Grant. We say fuck the police if they not going to protect us. Say it, fuck the police. We got to stand strong as our time to rise up. I'm glad to see all the hip-hop artists. I'm glad to see the youngsters. I'm glad to see the elders out here represent for ourselves. This is Oakland, California, home of the Black Panthers. We need a new movement to represent right now. What's happening in the street right now? There's an attitude among government as it, as it relates to people of color. There's an attitude. This is an attitude that's being expressed here. And, and we have government to Mayor Dellums, Mayor Dellums when we was at that meeting, I'm sorry, we was go at ahead, the same go meeting, yes. the attitude of the district attorney was horrible. We, we have it on tape. He put his hand on his hips, and he basically said it's his decision, and he wasn't going to talk to nobody. Am I lying or not? I mean, people were nearly left in tears. You had black men at the district attorney's meeting this afternoon, shocked, just looking at the district attorney like, why are you not doing anything? And he said he didn't feel like he needed to do anything. But what was, impressive, line, what was impressive was that the citizens for a change realized that they have the power to tell their government what to do. This is a democracy. It's supposed to be a democracy. So in a democracy, the people rule government. Government doesn't rule people. And that's your philosophy, Mayor Dellums. And that's and that's our witness today the citizens and the community coming together and telling the government that we need to talk to you.